You're listening to Lore Friendly 2019 edition with me, Chris Takahashi, and the new Master of Fine Arts in Anglo-Saxon Studies, or rather, Alice Bell. Oh yeah, because I, I, I actually properly had my graduation ceremony. Yes, yes. I was so confused when you were like, oh, and you've recently gained your master's, and I was like, I got my master's results in November. <laughs> So I was well, very confused then. We haven't had a podcast since November, have we? We have. Oh, have we? Yes. Yeah, I don't even remember. <laughs> oh my god, Chris. Are you okay? I have have a you poor... not spoken to anybody after last time we tried no, to record? No, no. I, I, have, I have a very poor concept of time. but um, I can tell. <laughs> it's hard to figure out when something happened when you're on that treadmill of adulthood. Because, like, yeah. if you're a student, you still have those things to mark different events in your life. But, yeah, you know, like if you're a student at Hogwarts, for instance. <laughs> you can uh, take a drink every time uh, Harry gets into trouble. Speaking of which, did you see, I mean, I know you saw it because I sent it to you, but this fucking Pottermore shit, this uh, oh my bit gosh. of lore that they dropped a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I did. According to Pottermore, Hogwarts didn't always have bathrooms. Before adopting muggle plumbing methods in the 18th century, witches and wizards simply relieved themselves wherever they stood and vanished the evidence. I gotta say that, just vanished it. Um, have you heard of the concept of death of the author? I know what you mean. Like, the author's... Yeah, yeah go ahead. Explain Where it. the author's, um, once they've released some writing any amendments or any conceptions that they have of it can't retroactively be applied to said writing. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I'm ahead. thinking that we should go for a... Uh, well, I don't want to advocate a literal death of the author, yes, yes. but maybe just a silencing <laughs> of the author might be in order. Should you know? we start uh, um, funeral <laughs> arrangements for JK? Is that what you're saying? Figurative. Well, that's universe. that's the clue, isn't it? That's the clue in it. It's in her name, J.K. <laughs> Wait, when were toilets invented? Um. Well, so the first toilet was presented as a gift to Queen Elizabeth I, but uh, right up until the late nineteenth century, I believe, um, modern plumbing wasn't actually introduced. In fact, in some of the slums that we have over in the country they were recorded as using basically holes in the ground and ash privies which is basically a hole in the ground that you shovel ash on top of all the way through up until the late 19th century ah so the joke doesn't really apply because like what i was thinking and what the internet is more or less thinking is that imagine you're a muggle and you're used to using toilets and modern conveniences and you get accepted in hogwarts and you go to hogwarts you meet some nice like you know other wizards and you're just chatting up you're like wow this person is really nice i want to be friends with them and then like halfway through the conversation they're like uh hold on i, I just need to use the bathroom for a sec and you're like you're like sure go ahead go go take your leave and they're like, no i'm just gonna do it right here <laughs> and then this person you meet just proceeds to take like the nastiest shit like right in their pants <laughs> it's like i can't imagine that the that 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 even if if they didn't have like actual toilets and things like that, they would still have a designated space. <laughs> no, they just do it right do there. To do the dirty, because like you know that shit stains, right? Yes, yes. But that's what they mean by vanishing the evidence. I'm assuming. <laughs> Yeah, but it's what all if part they couldn't of the magic. perform it's, the spell properly? It's, it's, what if it was some poor, unfortunate first year they just, they who'd, just, never, <laughs> who'd never learned the spell properly? They just wave their wand and they say, vanishes diarrheas, and, and it's gone. <laughs> now all I can think of is how many shit stains there are scattered through Hogwarts mm. from first years who can't perform the spell properly. <laughs> yeah, that would be an interesting class, I think, to take. <laughs> I don't know how the teacher would go about grading... Uh, how well the students vanish their poop, but it, it sounds very unpleasant for everyone involved. It just makes me really upset. <laughs> Although, could you vanish things from inside your body? Because that would be a little bit more hygienic, I think. It'd be a lot less embarrassing. Yes. 
<laughs> Imagine you're just sitting there. Like I said, you're a muggle. You're not used to these conventions. You're not used to the magic. You, Alice, as a muggle sitting next to me as I'm vanishing away my poop, what would be going through your mind? What would be going through my mind <laughs> is... Wizards are uncivilized heathens. Now, I come from an impoverished background, but even I know that uh, you don't do it in public. You're like, screw this whole magic thing. I'm going to go back to fucking normal muggle school. Yeah. That is the level of disgust that I'm at right now. And that's like no small thing. Like magic, we've been taught all our lives, for lack of a better word, magical. It's something we all aspire to want to do. You've kind of hyped yourself up to this kind of dreamlike experience, and the reality is it's it's wizards literally shitting in their pants and whisking it away. Say something. Hello? Okay, I can hear you now. Okay. I wonder what happened there. <laughs> I don't know. How unusual. JK must have just zapped the recording. Yeah, she was just like, no, people are talking <laughs> shit about my shit. So anyways, when Discord ate your your voice, I guess, or whatever, what were you saying? Basically, fuck magic. <laughs> there, are, there, are, there are so many aspects of the wizarding world that I'm curious about. Like, for example, so Merlin, obviously from the legend of King Arthur. Now, the legend of King Arthur, according to all of the uh, pseudo-histories, um, he just about... He basically comes off the back end of the Romans, I believe. Hogwarts wasn't founded until the 9th century. So how did Merlin attend Hogwarts and get sorted into Slytherin? That's the kind of uh, additional knowledge about the magical world <laughs> that I want to know. Not the... Uh, Shitting. Not the bowel movements of the magicians and how they would clean that shit up. Literally. No. <laughs> And by the way, didn't Hermione say that you can't just disappear something? Like, it has to go somewhere else? Like, there's some kind of equivalent exchange or something? Mm, something like that, yeah. So, where does the poop go when it's whisked away? Because it's not vanished away. There's just some poor alternative <laughs> dimension, isn't there? That's just constructing Hogwarts out of shit. Yeah, maybe it was, maybe it was uh, Voldemort's house, and that's why he's so angry. It's just all the poop just went right there. And ever since the closest... then, he's, <laughs> he's been trying to get his revenge. I think the closest like historical analogy that we have to wizards uh, shitting where they please is uh, the medieval job of the privy man. Hmm. So the privy man, he was a man with two things. He had a bucket and a cloak. His job was to uh, walk up and down the streets of his township or his village and look for people who looked like they needed a shit. And if he found somebody who looked like they needed a shit, he'd go up to them, he'd say, Hey, so, uh, I can't help but see that you're in need of a bit of assistance. And if they said yes, then he would put the bucket down in the uh, middle of the street. They would squat over it. But, uh, this is where human privacy comes in, because, uh... Well, to give them a bit of privacy, because nobody wants to be watched whilst they're doing the business, they would at least wrap them up in the cloak. <laughs> and then they'd whip out their wand. Nah, they'd take, <laughs> nah, they'd take the bucket to the cesspit. And, they, and they'd say, omit us, shit us. <laughs> Repel us. <laughs> Repel us, poop us. <laughs> and it would be gone. And it would be whisked away under the streets of London, and that's how we got the Fatberg. Speaking of Fatberg, yes. it's breeding. Is it? It's well, multiplying. Isn't, isn't the thing that the problem that we're breeding and throwing away our used condoms down the drain, and that's what's helping it multiply? No, it's clearly the Fatberg. <laughs> you see, there is now a Fatberg, not just in London, but in Devon as well. Oh, what's Devon? It's it's very far uh, west of London. So to say that uh, the Fatberg has uh, managed to um, breed further proves that it's definitely not just a London problem. And uh, the, the Fatberg is described as being uh, longer than six double-decker buses, which uh, just think about that for a minute. 
do you know what a double decker bus is? Yes, I do. Yeah, so uh, six of them, it's that length. Don't patronize me, Alice. I know what a bus is. <laughs> but it's a double decker bus. Yes, yes. Which is like a extra deck stacked on top of yeah. a normal bus. <laughs> yes. But real um, complicated shit. Yeah, it's apparently going to take eight weeks to cut up and remove it. Which is uh, lovely. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like a job for the people at Hogwarts who with their vanishing wands and things. I mean Maybe that's where it goes. <laughs> it like converts into fat and oil and condoms and then it <laughs> sneaks on down underneath the sewers of Devon and London. <laughs> yes, that's what it's <laughs> That's why they they just they don't care about the muggles. They just like let it just whisk away to another place instead of using proper plumbing. They just use their magic and let somebody else deal with the problem. They're very elitist at Hogwarts, I'd say. They're absolute wankers. (laughs) Yes, yes. That that is probably a better term than what I said. Uh, What else were we going to talk about? Um, We've cut out Doctor Who because neither of us have watched it. (laughs) Um, Let me just scroll on up. Uh, Game of Thrones? Oh, yes, they released, like, a... A grand total of five second seconds. Trailer, yeah, where Sansa says, like, Winterfell is yours, my grace. I think that's, like, the grand total of words yeah. that were spoken. I find it hilarious how much taller Sophie Turner is compared to Amelia Clark. Oh, yeah, yeah. They really need to give her the box that uh, Jon Snow is standing on. Just, <laughs> just yeah. Just, change it up like you know just keep him off screen just give her the box have her stand on it then once she's done with her line she'll step off give it back to kit harrington they'll be good exactly but hbo has a massive budget so uh, i don't uh, see why they can't invest in two boxes oh or is that crazy wow. that's a little i mean bit there's of... <laughs> a reason why they cut out all the dialogues <laughs> it's a bit of a splurge i don't know if they could fit it into the budget but Maybe. I mean, it really depends. They just have to cut a few corners. Maybe instead of CGI dragons, they just have uh, somebody dressed up in a Halloween costume or something. In exchange, they get the box. But, you know. Yeah. You know how it is. There's only six episodes, though. That's Six episodes, but they are all feet... Well, they are all over over an hour long. Oh, yeah. Apparently. Like um... an hour and ten seconds? Or like feature length film long like 90 minutes Ugh. all of them are saying that they're over 60 minutes so <laughs> take that as you will 60 minutes I'm, and three seconds honestly i'm glad that it's only going to be six episodes because you know you? what i get like with this series you know how passionate i am yes about hating it <laughs> and honestly i've been in a really good place this year mm. and it's because game of thrones didn't come out this year it's because there's been no game of thrones to boil my blood like i'm i'm in a nice place i have a decent job i have a lovely boyfriend And I'm scared that when Game of Thrones comes out, all of that is going to be for nothing. And it's going to ruin everything. You technically don't have to watch. (laughs) But I do, because that's our main content for the podcast, is me complaining about Game of Thrones. And I have to watch it, because I've invested so much time into loving it, and then hating it, and reading the books and theorizing, so I have to see it. You could just wait for George to finish the books. It's never going to (laughs) happen. He did release uh, the Germarillion, or whatever it's called, the Fire and Blood series recently. It's it's £25, and I can't (laughs) afford it. So your and passion <laughs> extends very far, but just not that far. Not 25 pounds far. Well, that 25 pounds could feed me for a week. Yeah. To be... F- oh, Minimum wage, Chris. You know these troubles. <laughs> you know the troubles of having no money. To well, be I'm on fair... Min- I'm on minimum wage. 
I can't afford to be throwing about 25 quid on a book. You're going to get that much just for talking to me. <laughs> yeah, but I have to use that to pay off a debt that I have to an online retailer. Uh, to be fair, it's not like a story or anything. It is just... A history. You know, yeah, a history. But I love so. histories. Yes. Yes, that's like right in your alley. That's... Exactly. <laughs> it's up your alley. Oh, not in yeah, your yeah. alley. <laughs> Same thing, in the no. general vicinity of different an alley. propositions. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm distracted. Sorry by this bug. I'm gonna squash it. Kill it. In this thrilling episode of the podcast, <laughs> we see Chris Takahashi murdering an innocent bug. Yeah, it's dead. It, it gave a satisfying crunch under my finger. Anyways, I think oh, it was that like would have made a perfect ASMR. <laughs> Maybe that that's something noise? I should get into. Making sound effects? No, ASMR videos. What is ASMR? It's basically where you speak really softly into a microphone and you discuss something and people find the voices really relaxing and soothing. Ah. And sometimes you make noises into the microphone. Oh, yeah? So if I had a drink, I would drink the drink. Or and if I had people... a packet of crisps, <laughs> I would eat the packet of crisps. And people pay for this service? Well, uh, there's a lot of YouTube videos about it. Oh, yeah. I reckon I could make it... a fantastic one. Let's what find a it? niche. Let's find an ASMR niche for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How uh, about pretending to be a muggle who just met a Hogwarts mage who took a dump in his pants? How about that? Okay. Hey, it's really nice to meet you. I, hold on a second. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, oh, don't mind. It's a, it's a wizard thing. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm going home. You wizards are uncivilized bastards, and I hate you. I'm going back to my ash privy and to die of cholera. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good. Why is it whispered, though? I think it's just because people find the breathiness of whispering quite relaxing. Okay, this is starting to sound like somebody's kink or something. <laughs> it generally is. <laughs> okay. Then it makes a little bit more sense because people have kinks and they would pay money for those to satisfy them. So. Well, you see, now what we can do is we can title this, uh, this video uh, Harry Potter ASMR and then it's uh, going to get tons of hits. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Yeah, we might And uh, it's not misleading because it is like a minute segment of the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> we might even make it like a dollar this time. Oh, that would Wouldn't be that amazing. Be nice? I think we should experiment. Let's try it. Let's try it. Today, the title for Law Friendly today is going to be ASMR Harry Potter. And maybe just include a timestamp in the description that skips straight to it just to satisfy people. But uh, some people, they might just want to uh, listen along. And uh, they might find that they have a new program to enjoy. Yeah, maybe. Social experiment. Do people click on ASMR videos? The yes. answer is yes. Yes, but do they click on ours? Probably not. <laughs> maybe if we put the right tags in. <laughs> we do get a lot of sex dating posts on our Discord. Yeah, what is up with the Discord at the minute? Please explain the situation because it seems to go down every time I'm in bed. Well, it's just a bot that posts like a, a link, which I'm sure is just like to fucking steal info or do something like install malware on your computer or whatever. Yeah. But it, they tied it, title it sex dating and then they put a link next to it. So it's just... Isn't sex dating just normal dating? Yes, like what... <laughs> What is non-sex dating? <laughs> dating uh, where you just 
uh, decide to cuddle at the end or something. <laughs> Dating where you go all the way back home, and then you're like, actually, let's just cuddle. You're like, man, this is so much worse than sex dating. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, sex dating websites, they, uh, their, their purposes have changed. Tinder, for example, is now just seen as a dating platform instead of a hookup platform. Yes, yes. Well, the, the sex part is implied, I'm assuming. But if you had a site that was specifically non-sex dating, where there was... Um, I'm pretty sure there is, like, asexual dating or something. Yes, yes, it, Yes, yeah, that might work actually. That might be a successful site because they are there are a percentage of decent percentage of asexuals. I think it's uh, one percent of the population's asexual. Oh, okay, that's not a decent percent. It is <laughs> when you consider how many people that is, because there's a lot of people in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember the the exact percentages of uh, supposed proportions of the population who are LGBTQIA, but. I think asexuality is 1%, because that's quite an easy one to remember. Hmm. And that's a yeah. lot of people. So then we'll know uh, if they've made it, if we see the spam bots promoting non-sex dating. Hmm. And it's like, yeah, yeah. Someone has made an asexual dating website. And then we click on it, and then we get malware and stuff yes, on Yes, yes, yes. But for a brief moment, we were kind of just inspired by it. For that three seconds before we yeah. installed the malware we were like yeah speaking there of is the... <laughs> an avenue for non-sex dating speaking of computer issues my laptop is slowly beginning to give up the ghost oh yeah my shift keys aren't working oh the shift key is for running too isn't it it's an important key yeah it's a very walk important everywhere key. in video games I know, it's awful. But like, both Skyrim, of the shift keys alt. aren't working, but every other key on the keyboard is. Uh. And uh, I've checked the... I've been Googling it for days. And I've checked... I've done all the tests. I've run malware scanners. I've taken sticky keys off, things like that. But I still can't figure it out. So this is a plea to all of our listeners. If you can come up with any solutions as to why my shift keys may not be working, please leave them down in the comment section down below. It will so, also, ironically, increase our engagement <laughs> and therefore give us more views. Are you, you using the caps lock at the moment? Yes. <laughs> nice. My whole voice is on caps lock, so there we go. Yeah, yeah but that, that's that got to be annoying, especially yeah. if you have like... Uh, I don't know, a fucking proper name of some place and you have to capitalize lowercase and then capitalize again lowercase. Yeah. Like if you had to type your name, Alice Bell, you would have to caps lock, press caps lock again and press it again for the B. You know what's the worst? What? Typing the at symbol. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that one is the worst, my friend. Uh, is it copy paste? Yep. Nice. I can't <laughs> write my email address properly. <laughs> I can't punctuate many of my sentences properly either. You should have a, I mean, you probably already do, but like a text file of your email that you could just copy. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, and it's just paste. very distressing. Yes. <laughs> Imagine when your control button goes out, then you'll, who knows, but you have to right click and then use the mouse to copy and then paste. It's just so many more things. <laughs> I, that should be a thing. It should be like gradually, a uh, gradual disappearance of keys. And so it starts with shift, then control, and then pretty soon you're just fucking using a touchscreen and <laughs> just doing everything by finger. Mm. Um, and then you lose your fingers for some reason, some horrible frostbite, and then it's just, it's just a You've horror You've just got film. to do it with your nose. <laughs> yes, yes. That would be interesting. A nose computer. Again, we've come up with all these great business ideas. Non-sex dating, nose-based browsing. Just why aren't we rich? It's just It boggles the mind with all these awesome ideas we come up with. I don't know. I honestly don't know. We sell ourselves too short, I reckon. Yeah. We're wonderful people. We're yes. intelligent. We're innovative. 
We're uh, excellent literary critics. We've come All up with things. a. Uh, <laughs> I I just don't understand why we're not rich, honestly. Maybe we're too self-deprecating. We're too hard on ourselves, Chris. That's what the issue is. <laughs> yeah, I could easily flip the switch and not be self-deprecating. I could as well. We should, we're just going to be time. arrogant from now on. I go, I go between self-deprecating and uh, full of myself. I have yes, no in between. Yeah. Yes. In between is boring. Yes. It's, it's always good to just go to extremes. We're basically bipolar. Are we describing bipolarness? Um, in a sense. Not in terms of emotion. In terms, yeah. well, maybe, maybe in terms of emotion. Uh, in a I'd, sense, <laughs> it could be described as that. Yes. Obviously, we're right being the arrogant son of bitches that we are. We're Hell yeah, never we wrong. are. It could always we be described as We are above that. and beyond criticism, we are. If it's not described as that, then we just change the definition. That's how exactly. We That's how we roll. That's how dictionaries work. Yes. <laughs> Those poor sons of bitches who have to update the dictionary every time we change word. Uh, I don't feel sorry for them because I'm above them, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's below our pay grade. Yes. You know. But if I had that human thing called emotions, I might feel sorry for them. But you know. Emotions are beneath us. Yes. Um, so, on that note. <laughs> <laughs> I think that brings us to the end of the episode. Sure, why not? So I'm I don't tired think, anyway. Because, yeah, we're just rambling now. We're doing our stupid <laughs> thing again. But I like rambling. Rambling is fun. I like rambling as well. So, that brings us to the end of this episode of uh, <laughs> ASMR Friendly. Say goodbye, Chris. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I miss just going to just going for a drink after work yeah 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 as it's long as nice. it's in moderation just like a little bit of wine or something would be okay i'd say nah, i don't no? <laughs> do moderation i'm not very good at limiting things so it's one of the reasons why i can't have bread in the house because i eat it all <laughs> i know huh it's like you can't stop it's just like there ah. Yeah, like when I open up a box of like, I guess, what are they called? Crisps in the UK. Yeah. If I can't just eat one, I'll just eat the whole no. box. It's just like, yeah. Who follows the recommended serving guidelines? <laughs> yes, yes. I always look at that and I like, it's like, um, it'll say the recommended serving is like one or whatever X amount of grams. And I'll look and I was like, oh, I guess I just ate like 10 servings worth. <laughs> multiply all these numbers by 10 okay yeah that's not good i'm about to die it's pretty much why i never look at the box yeah it's 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 not good for you <laughs>